Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications so you guys can see every time I upload a new video. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a get ready with me in which you guys are just gonna see me getting ready and eating at the same time. So today my dad told me to be ready by the time he comes home from work because he's gonna take a shower real quick and we're gonna be heading out. So I'm just getting a head start because he hates he hates it when I'm like, yeah, 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 I'll get ready, don't worry. And then when he comes, I'm not even ready yet. And then he gets mad. So today I was like, you know what? Let me listen to him. So I am. And today, so I haven't even I haven't even eaten either. So um I told my mom to make some tortilla con manteca and like salsa and um cheese. And then I have some arroz on the side. So I have it right here with me. Right here. Oh my god, this is so good. I love rice. Like if I finish this rice while I'm, while I'm over here getting ready, I'm gonna go tell my little sister to get me some more because it's so bomb. Rice is like my favorite thing. When I tell my mom, oh, rice is my favorite, and she's like, are you Chinese? I'm like, no, but I just love rice. You know, and then I have the tortilla here and this. And I saw, um, and um, also, I'm gonna be going into a healthy, I guess, eating habit. So I told, um, so I'm glad my mom made this. You know, because it's filled with like a lot of like grease, I guess you can say. The manteca is like greasy. So this will probably be like my last, maybe my last um greasy, you know, um unhealthy food I'm going to eat. And then I have some hot Cheetos too. So I'm going to take advantage that today may be my last day. If not, it'll be tomorrow. So I'm just going to take advantage and eat what I want right now. And then later on, just, you know, continue to eat good. And you know, try and cut up some sugar because I've been drinking a lot of sugar also. So I'm just gonna be using this real quick. I feel like my I feel like my skin needs some of this. So I'm gonna put this before my makeup because I feel like my my um my skin is so dry right now. I don't know why. And it feels drier than usual. So I'm just gonna put some. No, you know what I hate? Okay, so I love this product, but what I hate is this thing. I can never get the product in there. Like, I suck. I know this is squeezing thing, but sometimes I can't even get it. Like, I suck at doing this. This always happens to me. It starts like squirting everywhere else. I'm gonna put this in there. I don't know, my skin just feels so dry right now. Like, I, I could feel it when I put on my own. Um, when I put it on my face, like, I could feel my skin. Like, it's asking, like, it needs. Like some hydration or when you like like it's thirsty pretty much oh my god but yeah so um so i've always wanted to you know eat healthier but it's always been so hard for me because of the food that um because of the you know the yummy food that's out there you know like on tuesdays it's taco tuesday so you get you know one buy one get one free so then I was like, oh, it's not special, so let me go get it, and then I go with, and then I go buy some, you know. So this, I think the past two, past two Tuesdays, um, I've been buying tacos, and I literally buy in total, I would buy like, like, forty tacos in total. It'd be like forty tacos, I believe, because, because, but, but it's not just me eating it. It's on me, my mom, my dad, and my siblings. So we each get like four each, I think which is a good amount mm -hmm. and then we like when we eat it we have like some soda with it or you know if, if we don't if we don't buy soda then we just have it with some water like i've tried meal prepping but when you're home when you're tired like from work like i literally just want to go to sleep like i don't even want to um like cook or anything i just want to stay on um, what's my primer i just want to be at home in bed and just chill you know i don't really want to do anything like i don't so I don't know, it's been it's been crazy. But I really want to look and feel better. So we will see how that goes because I know it's gonna be hard. But I'm gonna make it one of my priorities. Like I, I think like me, I used to have trouble sleeping, you know, early. Because I I know I would need to wake up early the next day and I wouldn't care and be like, oh I'm not gonna go alone to sleep to like 12 in the morning or 
or one in the morning, you know. So then I really, so I was, and then when I would wake up to go to work or when I would go to school, I'd be like, damn, oh, well, you should have never done that. But, you know, my ass never learned and I still continue to do it. But now, um, little by little, I put myself in the habit to just try and go to sleep by 10. I get so caught up in the talking, so I forgot. So I just put in my primer um, all over my face, my forehead, my nose, you know. And I'm gonna go with my foundation. But yeah, like I was saying, when I go to the, like if I know I need to sleep early, I sometimes, you know, I would go to the gym to and just like work out like hard. Like don't just go for a run, you know, just do some light workouts. Like I actually, you know, go work out. And then um, by the time I'm almost done, by the time I'm ooh, and then by the time I'm ooh, but then by the time I'm almost done, um, I already feel like I'm already sleepy. So then I'm just like, okay, so this is this is good, you know, because I need to go to sleep early. So I've been changing a lot of stuff in my mind recently, and in my head, the way that I do things. But everything's gonna take time. Like literally everything is gonna take time. Oh my god. And then I don't know, I feel like I feel like I need to to go out. I feel sometimes I feel like I put so much I put like a lot of time like like my mindset and my head at work. I don't know, like like even when I'm home you know, I will be thinking about work. You know, I'll be thinking about some stuff that I don't like or that I don't like that's going on or some things that need to be changed, but it's hard to change it, you know, but I don't know. I really need to like stop doing that because I feel like it just stresses me out when I'm at home and I should just be thinking about me, you get me? But it's hard not to do it. But that's another thing I've been working on also to have a balance between myself and work. Um, it's, it's like, how do you say it? It's kind of hard because you end up mixing stuff up. Because when you're, because when I'm at work, I've been thinking, I'm thinking about like stuff I need to do at home. And then when I'm at home, I'll be thinking about stuff that went wrong at work or things that need to be changed. So. It's been a little, you know, kind of frustrating. Like, I think that's the term. So, I don't know, we'll see what I do with that. And then, I don't know, like, I feel like I'm stuck in a place. Like, I feel like I'm stuck. Like, I'm stuck in a time. Like, like in a, you know how there's a timeline? like. I'm stuck in one point like I don't go backwards or I don't go forward you get me like I, I don't know right now I just feel like I'm stuck so I really have like a lot of things I have to plan out for where was I I think I was saying something about about my emotions well I've been learning, you know, to control my ocean, my emotions, my emotions on my own, you know, by calming myself, by telling, hey, you know, I need to calm down, breathe, breathe, you know, breathe in, breathe out, it's not worth it. Literally telling myself when I see something I don't like, I tell myself, I don't know, I feel like I just get, like, mad uh, more at work. Like, I feel like all of this has to do at work because I feel like I'm not like this at home, but I think work is the one that be changing my mood with, um things that I didn't like so I'm gonna blame it on work not on me um but what's it called but yeah no but, other, but yeah, then I told my friend that how, you know what I what uh, I've been doing pretty much like I told him hey you know this is what happened blah 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 and I did this I know I shouldn't like I recognize my mistakes you know like I'd be like I know I shouldn't have done this but I did it either way and he's like, no oh, man, that's not good. You need to, you know, you need to be able to control yourself. You can't let your emotions, you know, take over you. Blah blah blah. So my friend recommended me 
to change or to be able you know like analyze my emotions and to identify you know i guess um how to like control myself so my friend was like Noma, you really need to read i think you really need to read a book because it looks like you cannot control yourself and i was like i don't need a book like i can control myself it's just i choose to i just choose to um say it and he's like no well i still think you need to read it so my friend told me that i need to read a book that talks about your emotions you know be able to control your emotions be able to control you know and identify you know like the like is it the right time or place you know to be doing this and that blah 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 and i was like i don't need that i don't need that and he's like yes you do so you better go buy it and i was like i don't want to buy it so i ended up buying it <laughs> even though i told him i was gonna, I was gonna buy it because i don't need it but then he's like velma you need to go buy it because he was getting like he was getting mad at me you know so i was like okay i'll buy it and i'll and but i bought it so this is a book that he told me to be it's called emotional and emotional intelligence why it can matter more than iq so it's um it's the number one bestseller so it should be good um but yeah but let's just say i have only read one page <laughs> and i got this book like like probably like two months ago two months ago so hopefully it's good but we will see because i have to do all um, a schedule like i think i need to manage my time i think i need to manage my time more so um i let you guys know because i have a planner and everything i just haven't used it But, oh I really love this bronzer, guys. Oh my god, this is this smells so good. Oh my god, mm. it could, if it could be made into like a chocolate, I would definitely eat it. Wait, do I don't even know what I was smelling? Oh my god, I think I was smelling my food instead. It's this one that smells good. Oh my god, I feel so stupid. This is the one that smells good. I was like, wait, why can't I smell anything anymore? This is the one that smells good. Oh my god, my nose tricked me, tricked me. I was like, this smells so good. And then I smelled it like for the third time. I was like, wait, it's not this one. It's a, this is the best smelling bronzer. This is the one that, um, that that smells like good that I would eat in the form of a chocolate bar if they so good. Damn, this one smells like shit. Smells like shit, but my nose is kind of stuffed right now, so I can't even really smell it. But yeah, guys, so. I have a lot of stuff going on with me right now that I have to fix to make sure that I actually do it because it's, it's easy for you to say, hey, It's easy, it's easy for you to say, okay, I'm going to do this and this and that. But are you really going to do it? Yeah, like you have to actually put like like what you say out of your mouth, like put it into actions. Because if you say, I'm, oh yeah, I'm going to, let's say I say, oh yeah, I'm going to stop drinking Starbucks for a whole week because, you know, I'm trying to cut down my sugar, you know. And then, then the next day, I'm totally contradicting myself saying, but and I, like, like the next day I'm contradicting myself and then I go buy some like cappuccino or something. So you really got to like do what your mouth actually says. If not, don't even freaking do it at all. You know, so, which I should be taking my own advice because sometimes I be doing that. I be like, I want to do this and this and that and then I don't do it. And then um, I'm just saying words that don't even matter because I didn't even do it either way so yeah okay so right now I put the pattern I, I, I put it all over my nose because I don't know why my nose is so oily I have no idea I put it right here because 
like I've said before, I'm, I noticed that when I wear makeup, the place that gets like, like oily, like shiny, it's always this area, this area, this area, and all over my nose. So I was put like a powder all over my nose just so it doesn't sweat as much. So I'm gonna leave that there, and I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna do my. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm so itchy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see, guys. So I have a lot of stuff to do, you know, and I'm not ashamed. Saying I'm not ashamed of telling you guys that you know, you know, control my emotions because it's normal. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that you know reacts out of like out of anger or out of sadness or you know anything. But I will say is that um, I've changed. Like I've changed. I'm not as bad as I used to be because oof, let me tell you, if some people, if if you could only ask people that I've worked with, they would know how I am. So shout out to my boss for for always. I want them to make every little capricho or you know like argument that I have done for the past how many years with her? 19, 20, 21, three years with her. Yeah. She's the best. My boss is the best. Well she's not my boss anymore because I moved to another place. But she will always be my boss, my favorite person. But yeah, shout out to her because she knows the real me. She knows how I am, so I would tell her anything, like anything. And she knows I'll tell her anything. Oh my god. But yeah, freaking hate doing this. So one thing I hate doing guys is my eyebrows. I feel like that's the worst thing I can do. My god. I don't know why I hate it to be honest. I think because it takes it, it takes like like time and position precision. For me, I don't have time for time and precision, you know. I just do I just, you know, color in it color it in, you know, as as much as I can. Not as much but as naturally as I can and that's it. I don't do my eyebrows like overboard, you know, when you you know, actually draw it in. I, I don't know. To me, I don't like that personally. I just like, you know, put, you know, a little bit of product so I can at least make a little shape. But that's it. Because when I'm done with this, it's such a relief because I don't like it. I don't know. I always just tested it. Never liked it. Never liked it. Okay, now I'm going to do my... <sighs> I feel like I haven't breathed. Like, to give it a deep breath. Now I'm going to do my... my I don't even know what I, I kind of want to do a different type of color but but then I always end up doing the same thing like literally I don't know if, if you guys do the same thing and be like oh I, you wake up in the morning or you're gonna go out and like you know what I'm gonna do a different style I'm gonna wear this color eyeshadow you know what let me do something different for once and then and then you're doing your makeup and then out of nowhere um you end up doing the same makeup look you've been doing all the time so that's literally me Hold on. but yeah so we will see what i do guys i don't know because i have no idea i've been talking too much i haven't been eating this is so good guys so you guys need to try it out so like you miss like you do the masa and everything and then you put like you put the tortilla on the kumal and then like you like put like the like the mantequilla or whatever it's, it is 
that they use and then after that you can add whatever you want like me i added um salsa with queso and and a little bit of arroz i would i would when i eat this i usually do that plus frijol but there's no beans right now so i just had to eat it just like that It's so good. I could eat like I could eat like four or five. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do two shades because I'm kind of lazy though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it comes out to because I have no idea either. So there's a song that there's a song that I am really loving right now. It's called Mala Santa from Becky G. Oh my god, that song is the best. I love that song. Cause you have like your bad side and your good side. That song is so good. Every time I do my video, I'm not by myself. I always have somebody with me, and that somebody is always my little sister. My little sister is um, six years old. Yeah, she just turned six. Right, mommy? You're six? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she is always with me. When every time I do a video, she is always with me. She is like my little assistant. Like, if I need something, she'll go get it for me. So it's, it's kind of, it's nice having, it's nice having, like, someone who's like willing to help you because it's so hard to like when you want to record a video like it's not it's not easy you know like you're like it's not easy you're just gonna sit down and that's it you feel me like no like a lot of stuff actually goes behind this like it's not just okay you know what i feel like recording this so let me just let me just set a camera there and press the record button and boom no it's more than that because you have to you have to like organize yourself you know set up make sure you know make sure everything make sure you have everything and then if you're missing something let's say you forget something and then you have to stop what you're doing and literally go get it so i think i'm done oh, i'm not really just kidding i'm over here done and i still haven't even done some other stuff so when I do my eyeshadow, I don't really use like um, a lot of like brushes. I just use like one or like two, like at most two brushes. Like, now what's the point of you know joining my other brushes when I can use the same set when they're like when I'm using light colors? So I save myself some time with that, some cleaning time because I don't really. Um, what to call? I don't really use like five different ones for, for like eyeshadow. I just like I mostly use two because I'm gonna be using like the same color either way. Okay, so I found a lip liner that I'm gonna use because I didn't have a sharpener, so I was using this old sharpener that I had in the bathroom, and oh my god, that literally just killed my lip liners. It doesn't even. So when I sharpen it now, it doesn't even um look good. So I'm gonna use my lip liner. And then I'm gonna use this lipstick. It's kinda like a purpley color. I don't know. I'm kinda going for like a little purpley color ish look, not really. But Okay, guys. I'm almost done. Finally, about time. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think this is like the longest get ready with me because I started blabbering a lot. Wait, is it TC? I'm organized, but I'm or I'm organized, but unorganized at the same time. I can't even find anything.
So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and then put a little bit of mascara like I always do. I don't know why I'm pinching myself. I'm just like melting under my skin. Um, I just have to fix my hair a little bit. Oh, my favorite part is doing my hair because you see you said like because my hair is naturally straight. I, have, I really don't have anything to do with like I don't have much to do with it though so, I don't know if I should wear my glasses let me see my glasses please maybe not this cream but yeah so this is me without glasses and this is me with glasses okay so let me you guys let me know what you guys like with glasses without glasses but yeah guys so let me know if you guys like this video turn on your post notifications subscribe down below don't forget to subscribe guys we're growing little by little and um just just you know just share with your friends and if you guys have any ideas that you guys want me to do just let me know and i'll do it so i will see you guys next time okay bye